Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now that we got some new shiny shoes, this will never happen again. Yeah, baby! <laughs> it's so much easier to cross this as well. You can even change direction while you're in the middle of the swamp like that because you'll just like pop right out of the swamp. And whips, as you can tell, can go right across. <laughs> You know, right across the swampy water without any issues themselves. So, this place is sort of like a puzzle, actually, to navigate and get around. So it's probably going to take me a while to, to get through the first section of it. There's two sections that lead to the next dungeon. So, I, I, I estimate, like, two parts for this and whatnot. And why am I cutting grass? I don't know. Let's just go inside this cave. <laughs> Woo! I definitely could use all those that I can possibly get because even though they're the most common I Still need the most of them and I always come up short with the green kin stones and you probably will as well because they there seems to be a slight Imbalance of kin stone distribution in this game. So anyway I'm just gonna explore things as I go and what is uh oh uh Oh, oh geez, it's a dark nut. Hmm. So a guardian is protecting the <clears throat> So, a guardian is protecting the treasure. Take care when fighting it. So, as I said, this is a dark nut. They are very good at guarding attacks. You want to try and hit them on the side that the shield is not. So, pay attention to which hand the sword is and the shield is. So, yeah, if you see, just attack where the sword is, basically. And you should be able to do this with relative ease without even taking all that much damage once you know what, what you're supposed what you're supposed to do. I didn't take any damage from that. And you got a special golden kinstone piece for doing that. Well, it, it's either gold or it's yellow, one of the two. It's it's probably yellow knowing because you know they're they're using all basic colors for that, but I, I kinda like to think that it's golden. <laughs> it just seems more special. Uh, whenever you see a yellow or golden one <laughs> It is a special event kinstone fusion, which means that you need to, to get the kinstones to progress through the game. And this is one of them. I need to get two more in this area in order, in order to progress, so... Uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. I think this is leading to the lower path and I don't want to take that yet. Uh, there are some... I mean, we're, we're gonna... we're going... We're going to be getting an item shortly that'll be able to defeat an, en an enemy that, well, doesn't look like an enemy at first, but it is blocking our way. These things right here, these are Armos. Now, that is one nasty looking statue. My eye is such an evil glow, evil glower? What? Is that a typo or bad grammar? I, I don't know, I never heard glower used in that context before <laughs> so we can't do anything about them right now until we get the thingy that we need to get the thingy out of the way those are our armos by the way <laughs> so now i'm going to take the proper path wait actually hold on um yeah, this is right, okay. I, I, this, this place is kind of confusing to me because there's multiple levels, and... Oh no, I did take the wrong path, dang it! <laughs> so, oh no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm on the right track, I think. No, wait, wait, wait a second. Ah, I'm saying wait a second a lot that shows my uncertainty, and I can't swim even with the Pegasus boots. <laughs> so I can't cross that. That's still out of my access. What was the only path that I need to take? Oh, by the way, remember where these flower, these multicolored flowery spots are? They are for another kinstone side quest. Yeah, those kinstones really have an influence in everything, don't they? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, am I supposed to go down here first? This might be where I have to go, actually. Uh, yes, okay. Can't believe I... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Always making me get out my underused shield just for the business scrubs. I want to sell you arrows, but you don't have a bow. Come back later. And that's sort of a hint as to what you'll be getting to be able to uh, defeat the Armos guys. That there is a bow around this area. And we must find it. Even though I'm tremendously confused right now. 
I'm gonna take the upper right pot path here because it sort of leads to a dead end. Wait, 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 wait a second. Well, I can do this now. I, that won't hurt if I do it now. Bloop. Go take this path. And I'll backtrack a little bit later. And this leads to a lily pad. And I think you know what to do from here, because we already did this before in the very first dungeon. Get some lotuses. Beautiful. Well, maybe they're not lotuses. Well, they could be lotuses. They look like they could be the bud of a lotus. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Alright, we made it across. And our reward is down this little tiny hole. It's an invasion! We must exterminate the bugs. Arr, they've been breeding down here for the longest time. And defeating them gives us a rather large treasure chest that gives us the bow. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. So I guess it was pr probably a good idea that I came through here first because I I, I wasn't exactly sure where the bow was located in all honesty. I, I, I'm always really confused in this place for some reason. But don't worry, I will make it through here completely. And I'm starting to sound like Swiftblade. <laughs> there we go. And back to normal. I should say back to regular size because normal to the minish is small. <laughs> and by the way, these uh, spiky thorns, they do hurt you if you touch them normally, like that, but if you run into them with the Pegasus boots, they don't hurt you for some reason. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is go. not that way. <laughs> I'm gonna go back around here because now I have the means to bypass this. Oh yes, you there. I'm shooting your eye out, yep. Tradition of Zelda games continues of shooting the eyes out of things. <laughs> and sometimes you get drops from things to replenish your bow, but that should be kind of obvious. You know what, I don't need Pegasus boots for this corner. <laughs> Screw the Pegasus boots, I'm tired of shifting my um, stand, I'm shifting my items around, and I rarely if ever put my sword away as well. I'll see what's over there on the right side in a moment or so, and there's the second golden kinstone piece, or yellow, or whatever you want to call it. So, well, I guess I gotta get the boots out after all. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't do that now. I need to be able to swim normally. Poopers! Oh, no! No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back this way because I got all the kin zones I need. And transform. Wait, wait. Wait a second. I did this wrong. I need to get up there, so I took a wrong turn. Did I? Okay, this. My bad. <laughs> Missed. That was a terrible miss, too. Oh. Mm. Nope. Oh, mistimed it. <laughs> it only takes three hits to defeat them with the bow. And it seems like they're pretty generous with the arrow drops as well, so it's not like you're gonna run out of arrows. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. If not, I mean, if you do run out of arrows, you'll probably find them in drops, like just by cutting grass and stuff like this. Anyway, let's use the vortex to cross the uncrossable, just like we did earlier. Let's see up the witch's hut. And there we go. And now... I'm gonna avoid that whip, of course. <laughs> but more importantly... Well, maybe this isn't important for now, but I guess I'll show you this just to let you keep it in mind later. Open this up. Heart piece. That's, pretty, that's pretty important, so I guess it's nice to come down here, but look, it's another blade guy, yeah. All the, there's a lot of these blade guys all throughout the world. In fact, they're called the Blade Brothers. I didn't want to reveal that until you've seen multiple of these blade guys, but now that you see it, there's many of them. <laughs> I think it's a good time to explain that. Though my body may perish, I am still the true master swordsman of Hyrule, Swift Blade the First. Spirit of the Swordsman! 
If you train with me, I will teach you skills that are out of this world! Huh? It seems you are not yet ready to train with me. Come back when you have all seven Tiger Scrolls! So yeah, you won't be able to get the quote-unquote ultimate technique until we fill up our Tiger Scrolls. So we've got a couple more to go. Well, he said all seven, but there's actually eight. So you just gotta fill the remaining three spots here. And then he'll give you the last one to get the last technique. Anyway, moving on. I still have yet to get another uh, kinstone, so let's go on the path to do so. Whee! Shortcut back. Voila. Uh, the pla oh, God, I should probably activate this. The place we got to use the kinstones are at the bottom left corner of the screen. So I'm just going to ignore that portion for now for the sake of... Uh, gameplay flow here. Mm -hmm. No, no, you don't. Oh. Oh. Trying to be tricky, are you? Okay, and there's, as you can tell, there's going to be a shortcut rock back down there, so don't worry about um, getting trapped there or anything. You, obviously, you see there's a lot of little pathways and holes that you can explore here once you are able to swim, so I'll definitely be back here later on once I am able to do so. And I just realized I forgot to switch back to my sword, but whatever, that works. <laughs> and right here is the last kinstone piece. Voila. Guarded terribly by whips. <laughs> they just did nothing to protect that whatsoever. Alright, let's go across. And just for the fun of it, because we won't be able to see these kinstones again, let's look at their shapes. Oh, and I've got every single kinstone shape that you can get in the in the game. At this point in time, right here, right now, in the inventory, that's what they all look like. So keep that in mind, I suppose. I, I guess it's not all that important to know what this looks like, but uh, it, it does uh, pay to know, like, offhand which which kinstone pieces people want and which which ones they pair with. So in case you need to go back to them, you'll know, hey, I got the right kinstone piece, and then you can backtrack to the person to fuse with. Anyway, see these statues? Each one of them wants to fuse a kinstone with you. So, let's start. Actually, can I talk with them? No, I can't talk with them. I just thought I would try that. It is a mysterious statue! Again, they are emphasizing mysterious in a way that is not necessary. <laughs> and it turns super happy, which starts breaking apart that rock, which is going to be completely broken apart by the time we finish this kinstone fusing sequence. And happy statue number two. Woohoo! Happy statue number three. Well, it's not happy yet, but it will be. That's an odd tooth formation there, but it looks pretty cool. And last one. Shatters that block to nothing! I am Swiftblade. PK Gam the fourth. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.